Hey guys, welcome back. So first off, this is a sponsored video. The nice folks at Formula J87 were kind enough to send me two sets of headlight wiring harnesses at no charge to me to test out and make a review video with. So I can guarantee you this video is going to get awful boring real quick. So I recommend you skip to the last chapter of this video and there's going to be a giveaway where I'm going to give away one of these uh, harnesses and in that chapter will be the rules on how to win it. So this is what we're going to talk about today and this is the uh, relay harness and right now they're going for $22 on eBay uh, from the Formula J87 store. So um, I gotta give a shout out to my man Clark Patty uh, for turning me on to this uh, uh, problem that's been plaguing Panther car owners for the past two decades. And I've also got to give a shout out to Daniel Stern Lighting for uh, uh, making this 12-page uh, manifesto called Why and How to Upgrade Your Headlamp Circuit. And I'll put a link to this document down below. So uh, back in 2009 when I got my Crown Vic, it was five years old and I had no complaints with the headlights as far as brightness and as as the years have gone by it seems like they've gone gotten dimmer and uh, as it turns out this issue is nothing new and it's been going on for about two decades uh, with Panther car owners and how they've addressed this problem is they've come out with a wire harness and relay upgrade and uh, I'm just now learning about this now thanks to Clark Patty uh, so I'm late to the party uh, with this uh, upgrade or modification. So first I'd like to talk about uh, the, 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 the three main issues that caused this problem. And then I'll uh, talk about my measurements that I did on my 04 Crown Vic. And then last I'll take you over to the car and show you how this wiring harness installs and uh, take some uh, measurements to show you uh, uh, t to show you proof that it works. So the three main issues why our headlights dim over time is due to these three main issues. Number one is they use small undersized gauge wires on the headlamp circuit and it's usually 16 to 18 gauge wires and I looked at mine and I'm not sure which one they are but they kind of look like they're 18 gauge wires and those are a little bit small uh, in my opinion. Uh, the second reason <coughs> excuse me the second reason is the long runs of the headlight wires I'm gonna estimate it to about 20 feet of length and the third and final issue is the I've identified five different connections and terminal points and uh, the reason why those are the issues is because over time dirt and water and corrosion it gets into the connections and the terminal points and the small under gauge wires undersized gauge wires contribute to uh, a resistance in the wires which reduces the vol the available voltage to the headlamps and that's called voltage drop so um I took, uh, so based on uh, uh, following this 12 page uh, how to guide on why you should upgrade your headlamp circuit, I took some readings of, so I took some voltage drop readings on my car. And if you're not familiar with the term voltage drop, uh, just pretend I didn't say that. Just pretend I said uh, measuring the resistance of a wire. Uh, and checking it for uh, resistance. <clears throat> so I took this measurement right here a minute ago on my driver side factory wiring and the voltage drop on my ground wire is not that bad. It's only 0.13 volts. But I took a measurement on the uh, low beam positive wire and it's a whopping 1.3 volts of voltage drop. 
and if you add those two together it comes out to 1.43 volts lost and um, that is a big deal and the reason why that's a big deal is because going from 14 volts to 12.6 volts is only a 10 percent drop in voltage but according to Daniel Stern the drop in uh, power is n is not linear it's exponential so what that means is at 14 volts when my engine is running uh, my factory halogen headlamp bulbs should be putting out 1356 lumen and uh, because of my voltage drop it's going to drop that down to approximately 12.8 volts and so that means the headlamp bulbs can only produce 1000 lumen so the difference between 1,356 lumen and 1,000 lumen is 26%. And to put that into um, a visual, uh, I think everybody understands pi. So imagine I have a pi here cut into four pieces. And um, what I should be getting is I should be getting a whole pi, but imagine W.J. Handy Dad, a.k.a. the Texas Hamburglar, has come along and he's stolen uh, one quarter of my pie. He's taken a slice out of this. So basically what I'm trying to say is due to age and corrosion of my factory wiring, I only have 75% of my headlight brightness because 26% of it is lost due to voltage drop. So what do I mean by that? Well, here's a picture of our engine bay, and it all starts right here at the battery. So um, the power wires, in order to get to the headlamps, they, they've got to take this route. So they go from the battery, and they go to the inside of the passenger compartment to the fuse box. And that fuse box is located right here next to your left knee under the dash. And then the headlight wires have to go from the fuse box to the lighting control module. And then they've got to go from the lighting control module to the headlamp switch right here on the dash. And then for the high beam, they've got to go from the switch to the multifunction switch or the turn signal stock right here on the steering column for the high beams. And then once it gets done with all that, it's got to come back out to the engine compartment and the wires then uh, make their way to the headlamp bulb on the driver's side and the headlamp bulb on the passenger side. So this is one of the uh, issues, <clears throat> excuse me, so this is the, the second issue that I've identified of the long runs of wire, about 20 feet of wire and the third reason of the five different connections and terminal points. So over the years, uh, like I said, uh, the dirt and the water and the corrosion gets into all of these different uh, connection points and they create a resistance, which in turn uh, limits the available voltage going to the headlamp bulbs. So that's why this uh, contraption here uh, fixes that problem. And uh, it provides three solutions to these three problems. Number one, it increases the size of the wire. Uh, uh, our factory wiring, the factory wiring on my car, it's either 16 or 18 gauge. And the wiring used on this uh, wire harness is 14 gauge. And so it's, it's a huge improvement going from 18 to 14. And if I, if I were to make one of these wiring harnesses myself, of course I'd prefer uh, 12 gauge wire, but I think 14 gauge is more than adequate for this application. So number two, the second solution is it reduces the run of the wire. Instead of having uh, this uh, maze of wiring going from the battery to, to the inside of the car with all of these components and then back out to the headlamps, uh, this wiring harness, uh, you can see just how short of a run this wire is from uh, the, the uh, power connection to this uh, passenger side headlamp 
and then to this um, driver side headlamp bulb. So it reduces the length of wire by a lot. And um, the third the third solution is it reduces the connection points and terminal points. So we can see on this wiring harness there's really uh, just a handful of connection points versus uh, all of the ones that I mentioned inside the car with the fuse box, LCM switch, high beam switch, etc. Okay, so um, once I got this installed on my car, I took another set of measurement readings with the uh, wire harness in place and this is what I came up with. The voltage drop on the uh, ground is only 0 0.02 volts and the, gr the voltage drop on the low beam positive wire is only 0.16. So that means my voltage drop on the total for the entire circuit is only 0.18 volts. And that is a huge difference versus the 1.43 volts um, with my factory wiring. So what that means is when I turn on my headlamps and my engine is running, it means I get my full uh, 14 volts going to the headlamp bulbs versus the 12.6 volts that I was with my headlamp, uh, with my factory wiring. And so that means I get to eat my whole pie and the Texas Hamburglar, he gets none of my pie. Or maybe only one, maybe one percent of it. So um, that's what, that's what this headlight wiring harness uh, fixes. All right, now let's go over to the car and I'll show you, uh, oh wait, no, first let me sh show you the connection points. So this right here is I'd like to say where it all starts. And this, what this does is this plugs into the, pa the factory passenger uh, headlamp bulb output socket. And then from here, it goes to these uh, relays and there's two relays. There's one for low beam and one for high beam. And these relays are fed by a power wire that connects directly to the battery with this little o-ring and it even comes with fuses there's two fuses on here uh, one for low beam and one for high beam and that's how these uh, relays receive power and then it uses these big 14 gauge wires and it comes out to these uh, to the first um, uh, headlamp socket so this is what you're gonna plug your bulb into and then there's also a ground wire and you're gonna ground this to the uh, the chassis uh, most likely with a self tapping screw or whatever whichever which way you can and then the second uh, headlamp bulb is this one right here this is gonna go to the driver's side and that's why it's longer so this will plug into your uh, driver's side headlamp bulb and of course, to keep the wiring short, uh, you're going to ground this to uh, chassis metal with a self-tapping screw. All right, now let's head over to the car and I'll show you uh, how this works. Okay, so here's the relay harness and you can see I've got the, uh, the first connection point connected to my driver's side. Uh, headlamp socket and it goes to the relay and then I've got it hooked up to power I've got it connected directly to the battery terminal here and then uh, this here is the is my uh, driver side or passenger side bulb I've got that just laying to the side so I can back probe it and then I've got it grounded uh, directly to the terminal just for demonstration purposes but when I install it I'll install it to uh, chassis metal here. And then the last connection point is this um, connection here and this will plug into the uh, driver's side uh, bulb. And then of course you'll need to ground uh, the connection to chassis metal there. Okay, so uh, let's take some readings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure uh, the voltage drop in the uh, in the positive wire that goes from the battery inside to the car to the fuse box to the LCM to the headlight switch and then back out to the car that is going to come all the way to this headlamp bulb 
And if you're not familiar with the term voltage drop, just pretend I didn't say that. Just pretend I said we're going to check the wire for its integrity and see how much uh, voltage we're losing due to all of these connections and to all of those uh, <clears throat> connection points. So I'm going to set my meter to uh, voltage and I'm going to take my positive my positive term my positive terminal of my multimeter and I'm going to connect it to the positive terminal of the battery just like that and then to confirm I've got a good connection I'm just going to check bat battery voltage so right there I've got 12.3 uh, volts right at the battery terminal okay now uh, before I uh, back probe this light bulb I've got to energize the circuit so I've got to turn on the headlamps <clears throat> okay so now we can see uh, both headlamps are on this one here and this one over here So I'm going to stick uh, my negative uh, lead to my multimeter to the positive wire of the low beam circuit and we're going to see what comes up on the meter. Okay, so this is my reading right here. So I've got 1.267 volts. Now let's measure the voltage drop of the wiring harness. Okay, now I've got point one seven five. So what that means is I'm losing uh, 1.3 volts with the factory wiring and I'm only losing 0.1 volt with the wiring harness. Okay, so that's uh, how that works. Okay, so now let's talk about the uh, giveaway rules. Uh, in order to win this uh, wiring harness, you'll need to leave a comment on this video. And uh, 24 hours after this video is posted, I'll pick a comment with a random comment picker. And you'll need to own a uh, Panther car, Crown Vic, Grand Marquis, Town Car, Marauder, that uses the 9007 uh, headlamp bulb. And uh, you're going to need to pay the USPS uh, shipping of nine dollars fifty-five cents. And I know, <clears throat> and I know that sounds terrible, but uh, my channel is not monetized, and I earn zero dollars making these terrible videos. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.